Ever wondered what's on the other side of the moon? Picture yourself as a scientist seeing photos of the moon's far side for the first time. Prepare to be surprised. The hidden part looks completely different, covered in countless craters that no one expected. This discovery is not just changing what we know about the moon, but also raising new questions. Space used to be a big mystery, but now, thanks to technology like the James Webb Telescope, we're exploring it like never before. Come with us on a journey through space where every new discovery opens up a world of possibilities. What is the dark side of the moon? For centuries, humanity has gazed at the moon and marveled at its beauty. Yet, despite all our wonder and exploration, we have only truly explored one side of it. There's a whole other side we rarely see, often called the dark side of the moon. But why is it called that, and why has it stayed so mysterious? It all starts with something called tidal locking. The Earth's gravity has slowed the moon's rotation so much that the same side always faces us. This means the other side, which we can't see from Earth, is the far side of the moon. Sometimes we can catch glimpses of the far side's edges thanks to a slight wobble called libration. In total, about 59% of the moon's surface is visible from Earth at different times, but the far side remains mostly hidden. People often think the moon doesn't rotate, but that's not true. If it didn't rotate, we'd see all sides of it as it orbited Earth. In reality, the moon does rotate, but its rotation period matches its orbit around Earth, so it takes about 29.5 Earth days for the moon to complete one rotation and one orbit, making its day and year the same length. The phrase dark side of the moon doesn't mean it's dark as in no light, it means dark as in the unknown. Before we sent spacecraft around the moon, we had never seen this side. Difference between the two sides of the moon's two hemispheres look completely different. The near side is dotted with large dark areas called Maria, which early astronomers mistakenly thought were seas. On the far side, however, the surface is densely cratered with very few Maria. In fact, only 1% of the far side is covered by Maria, compared to 31.2% on the near side. Scientists believe this difference is due to a higher concentration of heat-producing elements on the near side, as shown by data from the Lunar Prospector's gamma-ray spectrometer. Other factors like surface elevation and crust thickness also play a role, but don't fully explain why the far side South Polican Basin, despite its low elevation and thin crust, wasn't as volcanically active as the near side's Oceanus Procellarum. One intriguing theory suggests that the differences between the two hemispheres might be the result of a collision with a smaller moon that formed from the same giant impact that created our moon. This collision could have added a thick layer of material to the far side. The far side on April 26, 1962, but it failed to send back data. The most detailed early survey was by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Lunar Orbiter Program from 1966 to 1967 with Lunar Orbiter 5 providing most of the far side coverage. The far side was first seen directly by human eyes during the Apollo 8 mission in December 1968. Astronaut William Anders described it as looking like a heavily used sand pile, full of bumps and holes. All 24 astronauts from Apollo missions 8 to 17 saw the far side, and multiple lunar probes have photographed it. Communicating with spacecraft on the far side is challenging because they are out of direct radio contact with Earth. During Apollo missions, this caused tense moments until the craft reappeared. Geologist astronaut Harrison Schmidt lobbied for Apollo 17 to land on the far side, but the National Aeronautics and Space Administration rejected the idea due to the risks and costs. In 2018, China launched the Keqiao Relay Satellite to the Earth Moon L2 point to facilitate communication with the Chang'e 4 lander and U-2 rover on the far side. This point is also considered ideal for a proposed propellant depot for future space missions. In January 2019, history was made when China's Chang'e 4 spacecraft gently touched down on the enigmatic far side of the moon. This groundbreaking achievement marked humanity's first soft landing on this unexplored lunar territory. Mysteries of the dark side of the moon in a groundbreaking new study, scientists from institutions spanning the globe have delved deep into the moon's mysterious geological past, unearthing compelling evidence to shed light on the long-standing enigma of its dark side. The research, spearheaded by experts from the Earth Life Science Institute at Tokyo Institute of Technology, the University of Florida, and other esteemed organizations, has revolutionized our understanding of lunar asymmetry. This asymmetry, characterized by stark differences between the moon's near and far sides, has baffled astronomers for decades. 
Through a meticulous blend of experiments, sophisticated computer modeling, and meticulous analysis of lunar surface data, the team uncovered a pivotal factor, radioactive elements. Discoveries made on the far side of the moon since the historic landing of China's China for lander on the far side of the moon, humanity's view of our celestial neighbor has been forever changed. The mission, conducted by the Chinese National Space Administration, marked a monumental leap in lunar exploration. It offered a unique glimpse into the mysterious dark side of the moon, a term often used to describe its hidden hemisphere. Capturing mesmerizing images and extracting crucial mineral samples, China 4 provided unprecedented insights into the lunar surface. The findings, eagerly awaited and recently published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets, unveiled a complex lunar landscape. Layers of dust, soil, and fragmented rocks comprised the top 130 feet, shedding light on the moon's geological history. Among the remarkable discoveries was a crater, evidence of a colossal impact that shaped the moon's surface eons ago. June King Fun, an astrogeology researcher, highlighted the significance of this finding. Collaborating with experts, Fun identified five distinct layers of ancient lunar lava, remnants of volcanic activity that once reshaped the moon's terrain billions of years ago. How the James Webb Space Telescope has influenced astronomy to explore more about the dark side of the moon, a special telescope was designed, one of which was the James Webb Space Telescope. This space observatory isn't just any telescope, it's a revolutionary leap in our ability to explore the cosmos, particularly in the realm of infrared astronomy. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021 atop an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana, the James Webb Space Telescope made its way to a unique orbit near the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point, about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. Arriving in January 2022, its mission is to delve into the universe's deepest secrets with unparalleled clarity and precision. Developed under the leadership of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, alongside the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, the James Webb Space Telescope boasts an impressive array of capabilities. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope specializes in capturing infrared light, ranging from long wavelength visible light to mid-infrared, spanning from 0.6 to 28.3 micrometers. Future exploration of the moon's dark side, the future of lunar exploration holds promise far beyond our celestial neighbor. Imagine a radio telescope nestled on the hidden far side of the moon, a beacon of scientific potentiality. This ambitious concept, spearheaded by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Artemis program, aims to transcend the limits of current astronomical instruments. Why the moon's far side? It's a sanctuary from the Earth's radio chatter, a pristine locale shielded from human interference. As physicist Stephen Kahn explains, existing telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope struggle amidst terrestrial noise, but a lunar counterpart could unlock unexplored cosmic frequencies, delving into epochs obscured by the noise of history. Enter the Lunar Crater Radio Telescope, a visionary project led by Saptarshi Bundyopadhyay. Picture a colossal 350M dish nestled within a lunar crater, primed to capture ancient radio waves from the universe's dawn. This isn't just stargazing, it's peering back to the cosmic dark ages, an era before stars ignited when hydrogen clouds dominated the cosmos. Here, the moon's quiet expanse shields against Earth's atmospheric interference, offering a pristine canvas for scientific inquiry. The telescope's deployment reads like lunar origami, cables anchored in the regolith unfurl a mesh dish while a spacecraft overhead acts as a relay, facilitating data transmission. We hope you enjoyed this article.